Welcome to the Buck Brief. Let's talk squatting and dad bods, although a different kind of squatting than you might be thinking. Uh, you've probably seen some of these stories where someone owns a property, house, maybe even a whole building, and a person with no legal right to be there, not paying rent, no ownership rights, just goes and breaks in usually and stays there. And you might say, oh, well, that's really straightforward, isn't it? Because if you are doing that, you are trespassing. Uh, yes, that is true. But unfortunately, in some states like New York, where I grew up, that falls under tenants' rights. In essence, you are treated as somebody who has legal right to a property that you have no legal right to because. And this is what squatters' rights really are, or this is what the process of squatting involves. Uh, there's obviously squatting in a rack at a gym with a lot of weight. That's a different thing. Uh, and that will be different than the dad bod conversation we're having here later. But first off, uh, squatting goes back in its origins to the American frontier. And in the 1760s uh, and beyond, when people would just show up on land that wasn't owned by anybody. I know people yell, oh, but the Native Americans owned it. Well, Considering that they didn't have written language and didn't have any actual proof of ownership of anything, they were just kind of there, and some of them were uh, would move around, and they just had hunting ground. It's kind of more complicated than they owned it. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, no one in a legal sense, there was no legal system that they had, so there was no legal ownership of it. But if you were a person on the fr American frontier, you showed up and you um, improved the land, built a cabin on it, started to you know till the soil, that kind of stuff. Somebody else couldn't just say, oh, well, I bought this in a city, you know, 200 miles away or 500 miles away. And so now this is mine. Um, that's where the whole squatter's rights concept and people even can trace it back to English common law. Uh, but that should not apply to something that is legally owned by somebody. And Ron DeSantis has done something about this in Florida. In New York, you're out of luck. If somebody breaks into your property and they decide that they are going to um, hold it there as long as they want to or as long as they can uh, there's very little that you can do about it in new york they do everything that they can in order to um, make it impossible for you to be evicted as a squatter for months and months on end it's very very expensive and they do that on purpose i guess because they always want to side with the criminal i don't know i mean to be a democrat to be a leftist now is to constantly think that you need to have sympathy with the criminal and no sympathy for victims of crime. Uh, and because squatting is a crime, you're, you are a, engaged in a violation of property rights, you're engaged in a taking of someone's property for the purposes of, uh, of you know, tenancy. And the fact that Florida has signed this, or Governor Ron Santos in Florida signed this law saying, no, no, you, you fill out the form, you prove you own it, and if they don't have something to prove that they're paying, that they have a contract to be there. They're out. There's none of this messing around with, oh, I can squat in the property. DeSantis is right. This should be in every state in the country, and there should be no opposition to this whatsoever. Uh, you either have a contract that legally proves you have the right to be in a place, or you should be gone. Uh, you should be removed by law enforcement. Um, and, and, you know, a lot of radical left groups, they've been talking about this for years. Uh, they would talk about occupying... Uh, houses that are unoccupied, right? But occupy in the sense of like Occupy Wall Street. Uh, they started to talk about that with that whole meme movement back in 2011, but they they mean it. Um, and then you had this uh, migrant recently, I'm sorry, this illegal alien who came into the country uh, and was doing a TikTok video telling everybody to just start taking, illegals to just start taking houses that didn't have anyone that seemed to live there at that point in time. Uh the destruction of property rights is the destruction of the rule of law and the destruction of the state itself. Um, there are really two things the state must do. Protect your person, protect your property. Th those are the two core things that a state must do. Uh, and the fact that the left is so opposed to it, I think, tells you a lot about uh, who they are and, and how they operate. Uh, so squatters' rights aren't really rights. They're violations of somebody else's property and sovereignty, and um, it shouldn't be allowed anywhere. And Ron DeSantis in Florida saying, nope. You know, I'm just talking to you about squatting, which is a crime. There's another crime that happens a lot that involves someone breaking into your home. Burglaries happening all over America, and it's so easy. And sometimes 
Unfortunately, it can even be somebody that you think is supposed to be allowed in your home, but then they steal from you. This can happen. This happens to people. You need to have your valuables kept somewhere safe under lock. And that's why you need a safe. More than 2 million Americans have chosen Liberty Safe for this reason. An American made Liberty Safe fits in any home, more than 30 models, two dozen colors, thousands of custom options to help create the safe of your dreams. Liberty Safes are guaranteed for life. Um, and they can be delivered and installed into your home easily. I've got one here at home. I love my Liberty Safe. It's fantastic. We use it every day. Shop LibertySafe.com slash radio for a customized Fortress Strong Liberty Safe. I've got one, like I said. Use coupon code radio for a 10% discount. That's LibertySafe.com slash radio, coupon code radio. Um, and yeah, go check it out. I think you will find that it is um, excellent because I find it excellent. It's a really, really good safe. Now on to the uh, Kelsey Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey Taylor Swift uh, dad bod situation. Um, look, yeah, I understand. He doesn't look like Hercules in the popular conception of Hercules, or uh, he doesn't look like Schwarzenegger in his prime, who's a bodybuilder. Um, Schwarzenegger was taking steroids. I, I think there, there needs to be a little bit of a wake-up moment here for a lot of people because we live in this very online world. They, they look at Travis Kelsey, this NFL athlete, who is in good shape. Yeah, he's off season, so maybe he's gained like 10 pounds or something, but the guy's still a professional athlete and he's a physical specimen and he can run super fast, jump high, very strong. And you've all these people saying, oh, he's got a dead butt. Oh, he's let himself go and all this stuff. I'm looking at him saying, well, what do they think somebody at that size is supposed to look like? And then I think, oh, they, they think he's supposed to be like, uh, you know, the action heroes of the 80s or something, or he's supposed to be the, some of these fitness influencers we see. Um, on the record, it is known, Schwarzenegger, look at Action Heroes for a second. Schwarzenegger, massive steroid use. Um, Stallone, steroid use. Uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, steroid use. Uh, Dolph Lundgren, steroid use. I mean, just going down the line. All these guys that you think of as really strong and, you know, these guys who built their careers on how big their muscles were, taking steroids. So, and anybody who knows anything about uh, how body chemistry works will tell you that uh, steroids, he, the, to say that it helps, I mean, it's you're in a different universe of how much muscle you can put on and how strong you can get taking steroids. That's why they're banned in professional sports. That's why Travis Kelsey can't take them. Um, and and so, but I think people think of physiques now, and there's there's more than just steroids too. There's you know these peptides people take the TRT, which yes can be medical, but it's people are taking you know they want their testosterone levels up to like a thousand, twelve hundred. I mean, this is. If you're a guy in your 40s, that's, you know, getting your testosterone level that high. The only way you can do it is taking exogenous testosterone. But these are all things. And anyone who brings this up gets kind of shouted down. Like, I'll, I'll get shouted. People say, oh, look, look at you. Like, you know, you're so out of shape and all this stuff. I say, look, I'm just a normal guy. Okay, I do a radio show. Uh, I like to play a little tennis on the weekends. I don't pretend to be any kind of physical specimen at all. Um, but I do read a lot and know a lot and can observe reality. And uh, there is a mass delusion out there about what people look like who work out versus what people who look like who work out using performance-enhancing drugs. And, and that there is absolutely no way that the former can look like the latter. It's just not going to happen. Look at natural bodybuilding competitions versus open bodybuilding competitions. It looks like a, a different species, uh, you know, that, than like just man versus man in that. I mean, it looks like, you know, some alien life form is, they're so big and jacked, it's crazy. Um, but this also applies to the, the female form, I think, too. I see these people saying Taylor Swift's not in good shape. I'm like, what? And I'm not a Taylor Swift fan, per se. I just I just recognize, I mean, she's in very good shape. She's a very attractive young woman. Like, what are people even, and I know you say, oh, these are just internet haters. No, it's it's representative of something else. Uh, people are are delusional about this. Um, they think that all these people they see on Instagram are just eating more chicken breast and doing more push-ups, and that's why they look the way they do. No, they're also injecting stuff. They're injecting stuff. They are, I don't want to say cheating, because they're not necessarily in a competition that doesn't allow it, so it's not cheating, but you know they're, they're doing something else. It's not because they're so much more disciplined. Oh, that's why I've got you know biceps that are absolutely ginormous, because I'm so disciplined. No. At a certain level, yeah, you, of course, there are people, look at, nat look at natural bodybuilders. You can be incredibly strong. I'm not saying that there aren't people who are just genetically gifted and incredibly um, disciplined about their physiques. There are, but they look nothing like the guys who are shooting up with steroids, okay? It's like not even close. 
Um, and I, I think that we need to have a little bit of a recognition here of how widespread that is. And TRT and steroids, you know, in terms of the what it does to your body, depending on how much you're taking, I'm not a doctor, go talk to your doctor about this, but it can have very similar effects to steroids for people, at least at, in, you know, at, at, to a certain level, gaining you know, 15 to 20 pounds of muscle, reduction in body fat. I mean, you know, a lot of people, you add 15 pounds of muscle on, they look pretty damn strong. So I'm just saying there, there's this, this world of delusions because everyone lies about this. All these Hollywood people you see, all these Hollywood people you see that make these massive transformations. I don't want to name names, but you know they are. They go from being a little bit pudgy and, you know, and they say, oh, I just worked out so much. Yeah, they worked out while taking TRT. Because otherwise, to really, to go from like 30% body fat and, you know, as a guy who's, let's say, 40 years old, and then to go down to like 10 or 12% body fat and adding a lot of muscle and doing this in less than a year, you are taking steroids. OK, or you can believe the hype. You can think that Liver King looks the way he does because he's just taking bold testicles and getting lots of sunlight and being primal. I, I just wish people were more honest about this. It's not even just among bodybuilders and fitness influencers. Hollywood full of people. These some of this. I'm just going to say some of the Marvel Universe people. I assure you, I assure you they are taking stuff. I don't know what they're taking, but they're taking stuff. And they're not going to talk about it because they want everyone to believe, oh, I'm, I'm just so disciplined and I just wanted more and eating more chicken breast and more push-ups. It's like, it's not really how it goes. You know, I've been quite lean and I've been, you know, unfortunately, like right now, a little bit on the, on the heavier side and you know, as an adult in my life. And I can tell you, you know, unless you're going to like live in a gym and make it your lifestyle, you're not going to make that much of a huge physical. You can lose a lot of weight, but to add a lot of muscle, especially as you get older without some kind of help, it just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. So everyone who's telling you otherwise is just, it's not the truth. Now, now they'll say, oh, yes, I've done it. Buck, I'll get all these photos people will send to me. Guys, um, I can look at a photo basically and tell if someone's, you know, I, I love before and after and be like, well, that person juicing. <laughs> like, it's not that hard. It's really not. You get to, and I'm here in Miami, so I know people in that industry. They talk about it all the time. The men take stuff. A lot of the women take stuff. I mean, of course. So that's just why I think the Travis Kelsey thing is interesting because people are just com- I, I have had people that I know are taking some kind of performance enhancing drug for their physique and they will lie and they will still lie to me about it. I've had people who have told me that they take stuff and then a couple of years later, I guess they forgot they told me and then they'll be like, no, I, didn't, I never took anything. That's how deep seated it is that people want to believe I'm just working harder for it. Sure. Um, and I think that mentality also of delusion has spread to a lot of people who think, oh, to be fit, you have to look like and to look at these people that are just. Uh, I mean, especially on the, on the male side of things, they're just enormously have huge muscle, uh, you know, muscle structure and also incredibly low body fat. I mean, that is really hard to achieve without, you know, different kinds of what they would call supplementation. So anyway, and what I'm saying, by the way, anyone who knows this, stuff, it's what I'm saying is true. People get angry and I've already gotten people writing me like, I don't look at how I look and I don't take stuff. And I look at them like, yeah, you look like a guy who works out. You don't look like the super jack guys I'm talking about. Sure. But the people who send me photos of themselves, I'm not asking, by the way, anyone to send me a photo. <laughs> Please don't send me photos of yourself. Everyone sends me photos on, uh, on X because I, I did this tweet about this and it's been seen like 7 million times now. That's why I'm talking about this. But they send me photos of themselves. I look at them like, why are you? Send- I, don't, I don't care. I don't care. I'm only addressing the perception disconnect of, a professional NFL athlete who is still in his prime or close to his prime is like out of shape and has a dad bod. Like people need to get a grip. Okay. You know, he man is a cartoon character. He doesn't really exist. Um, so, and if you look like he man truly, it's because you're taking steroids or TRT slash steroids or, you know, peptides. I mean, there's a whole world of this stuff. I don't pretend to know. I've never taken, I've <laughs> clearly, I've never taken anything. I mean, that's obvious, right? I mean, I'll, I'll beat everyone else to the joke. Um, and I might at some point, but you know, I'll be honest about it. Like if I decide that I'm going to start taking TRT and someone asks me, I'll say, yeah, I'm taking TRT. My testosterone levels have dropped and I want to get that, uh, you know, I want to balance things out and be able to build more muscle or whatever. Um, the reason that you don't hear about it more is because people like the mirage, you know, uh, they, they like the, it's like people say they've never had plastic surgery done to their face. You look at them, you're like, you've had lots of plastic surgery done to your face. No, I haven't. Mm, actually you have. Uh, and, and it goes to vanity and narcissism, and these are not healthy things. These are not healthy things. So I think Travis Kelsey looks great, and I think Taylor Swift looks great. There you go, laying it out.
You know, Patriot Defender, my friends, could not come at a better time. It's no-cost legal defense to protect your rights, freedoms, reputation, and your way of life for members. So if you speak up at a school board meeting about vaccine mandates and suffer consequences, your legal defense is covered. If your right to free speech is denied and you suffer consequences, your legal defense is covered. PatriotDefender.com is the website, and if they don't already, very soon they'll be able to offer this membership in your state. So go check it out. Patriot Defender will provide both open and concealed carry self-defense and your right to defend yourself and your family when you need to. They'll provide you with IRS audit assistance, a whole range of things. The website is PatriotDefender.com. I'm a believer in this kind of defense. I'm a partner in this business, and I'm a member. Patriot Defender is the only membership that goes beyond concealed carry weapon defense. Patriot Defender will cover what others won't to protect you, your family, and your livelihood. Go to PatriotDefender.com. Go check it out today. Um, I'm going to go hang out with my family now for the rest of the weekend because they're down here visiting me in South Florida. So, uh, And, of course, Ginger, who is waiting for me outside the studio now. Talk to you all Monday. Shields high.